So let's put it all together with a basic differential equation. Solving a differential equation with a Laplace transform. This is a very basic equation. First order linear, constant coefficients. I could use the YHYP technique. I could use the integrating factor mu technique. But let's just see how it works out with Laplace transform. Take the Laplace transform of both sides. Apply the Laplace transform of y prime is SL of y minus y at zero. And then on the right hand side, use linearity to say minus L of y plus two times L of one. So this says S times Laplace transform of y minus four, that's the initial condition, is equal to minus L of y plus two over S. Laplace transform of one is two over S. Well, Laplace transform of one is one over S, but I multiply by two. Then I bring the L of y to the left hand side, bring the four to the right hand side, factor out the L of y, and divide everybody by s plus one. This is actually the Laplace transform of the solution. But I need to recognize where these transforms came from. I start to decompose four times one over s plus one. I know where one over s plus one comes from. And then I write with partial fraction decomposition, two over s plus negative two over s plus one. Now you could check that that's equal to two over s times s plus one. And then I can write that 4 times 1 over s plus 1 plus 2 times 1 over s minus 2 times 1 over s plus 1. I know exactly where those three things came from. I could even combine the first and third before I begin. But I could just translate step for step 4e minus t plus 2 minus 2e minus t. If I bring them together now, y of t is 2e minus t minus, or plus 2. You can check easily that this satisfies the initial condition, y of 0 equals 4. And if you differentiate it, it'll equal the opposite of itself, plus 2. So the Laplace transform just mechanically solved this equation. It's a basic first example, but it shows you what the Laplace transform does.